is this the best Blood Angel miniature ever made? Okay, then let's open up this box which we have received today. I have my trusty unboxing knife here. We need to make a slit along there. Did that cut? Yes, it did. Now the other end. Marvellous. And now we have to slit down the top straight through the barcode. Open up the flaps and inside we have a thank you for your custom leaflet. Don't want to look at that, it's got addresses on. Packaging stuff, these are always good fun. When you pop them you can scare people in the house. We also have a makeup brush leaflet. No, these are Element Games Artists Opus brushes. The best brushes you'll ever ever own and in the box have we got the right miniature yes we have we have a warhammer horus heresy blood angels dominion zephon let's open this guy up before we do that i did notice there are some more things in the box we have an element games sticker that appears to be a skitari wonder where i'll stick that i have sweet maybe I should try that one day I am on a diet though so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to eat it and just in case I didn't have enough stickers I got another two stickers interesting they've really stuck it to me with these okay so we have our box here let's get this cellophane off first I'm gonna give it a little nick with a knife so there we have our Dominion Zephon box. There's something I want to compare. Is it the same size as the other boxes? Yes, it is. Thank you for that, Kyria Draxus. Okay, so looking at the box, we have our new Horus Heresy logo, hopefully heralding a new edition of the Horus Heresy very soon. Uh, apparently the box contains one miniature, which I assumed has his name here, Blood Angels, Dominion Zephan, and the Warhammer logo there. On the end of the box, we have some gumpf. On the side of the box, we have Warhammer, the Horus Heresy, Blood Angels, Dominion Zephon, again with himself there, and a nice Blood Angels logo on this side. Top of the box is exactly the same, but we have Made in UK 2013. Um, I don't think it was made in 2013. Something interesting going on there. Maybe that means something else. Maybe that's just a batch code. And the other side has Dominion Zephon again. On the back of the box. Blood Angels, Dominion Zephon, the bringer of Z of Zorro. <laughs> He's not the bringer of Zorro, he's the bringer of sorrow. Um, if someone paints him up as Zorro though, that would be interesting. This is at 100% magnification and it looks quite big. I'll bring up your standard Mark IV chap. There you go. There's your scale difference perhaps. Maybe you need to see him more in line. He looks bigger. We also have some art here or painted miniature photos of him with his other head on and a guide on how to paint your miniature in the simplest terms. Apparently all we need is red flesh and dawnstone, some black retributor armor and lead belcher. For more inspiration go to citadelcolor.com. I don't think I've ever been to that website. Is it separate? It's interesting. Um, the set contains unpainted miniatures. Assembly and painting is required. Uh, for those aged 12 and up, so I am allowed this one, but not for 0 to 3 year olds. So sadly, my son is not allowed to have a go with this yet. Okay, let's open it up and have a goosey inside. Ooh, we have a nice little logo on the tab there. Nice attention to detail. Okay, we have a sprue, a quite large base which has fallen out as well, and our assembly guide. Read this first. Okay, let's have a look at this first. Move that out of the way on here. We just have equipment you need, some instructions here on how to put him together, choice of parts. We always like a choice of parts. And on the back, we have more assembly instructions. Uh, Interestingly, there are no rules for him like there are on some of the Warhammer 40k separate miniatures. 
Now this base, what size is this? I might have to get out a ruler, hold on. I have my metal ruler out now. Don't worry, that's not blood on there. I think there's a bit of rust and it looks to be 39 millimeters, maybe 40, but it's not actually 40. It's well within 40, it looks to be 39. Are all 40 millimeter bases 39? Interesting. And of course we have the sprue itself. There we go, that's nice and bright for you now. This is the back of the sprue. Up here we have some balls, uh, the back of the torso. I'm not sure what these bits are. Uh, the jump pack. We don't have a separate backpack if we don't want to make him jump. Uh, that might be something I do myself. We have his leg here. There's some nice detail on that leg, on this piece of uh, decorative ruins here. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be depicting as ruined. Is it a part of the Terran fortifications, you tell me? And some other bits. I really do like this sword. This is actually see-through down the middle there. There's some very fine detail going on. I'm sure a lot of people will like this sword for their blood angels. And let's have a look on the other side. So on the other side, we have the same parts, obviously, but you can see a little more detail. There's lots of little details like this destroyer logo on his uh, holster down here. Little Blood Angels logo on the shin, more destroyer logos on the jump pack. These vents are quite well detailed. You can just about make those out, I think. Like this. The leg, as I said before, does look very nice. And the other pistol has even more detail on there, more Blood Angels logos. That little chalice is going to be handy for me, for my Blood Angels. But I think interesting things to note are these pieces here. The Mark VI shoulder pad is in two pieces. It's going to be interesting to see how well that goes together when glued, if there's going to be a visible seam or not. I hope there isn't, but there might be. But this piece really has some nice detail. I think that's absolutely fantastic. We should go around and have a little bit more of a look at the detail here. There's that sword I was talking about. That's a beauty. There's his head, bionic arm, a leg. There's your backpack, the pistol holster, the balls. Not sure what those balls are yet. Uh, the Mark VI chest plate there. The pipes or ribbing are a little bit different to normal. Not sure what that is. I think that's his crotch. Here are those uh, fanny bits I talked about. We go inside the jump pack, there's his head. You can just about make out his vampiric teeth there. There's that leg again with some bullet holes in the uh, debris and a bit of rebar sticking out. Here's that other holster we're speaking about. Some nice straps on this piece. And this is his knee pad, I believe. Mark VI don't have knee pads, but this guy apparently does. Not sure what the little ribbed pot is. Might be some type of grenade. Flip it over for you to have a look at the other side. There's, I think that's his crotch again. There's his jump pack with the iron halo, back of the head, the leg, the holstered pistol, that's the knee pad, not sure what that is, the sword, which appears to be pretty much mirrored. There's that um, shoulder pad. We have a couple of little balls in there which should help it locate nicely. I like the little destroyer key ring. I'm not sure what the correct term for those is. Looks like a key ring. Uh, that's the knee pad again, I think. The bionic arm, leg, shoulder mount, back of the other pistol, and those balls again. So all in all, all in all, I think this is a nicely detailed piece, and I'm looking forward to doing this one.